Well, hello and welcome back to our Techspert series. Today, I am so excited to tell you we have Robert Greenberg from the Patch of Land. Robert is the Chief Marketing Officer at Patch of Land, responsible for sales and marketing at the company. Uh, prior to Patch of Land, he led the marketing efforts for B2R Finance. Um, you might know it as Finance of America Commercial where he helped originate more than $1 billion of real estate investor loans. Uh, definitely a trailblazer in the industry. Welcome, Robert. We're so lucky to have you today. Good to be with you, Linda. Um, I, I, our sole purpose here today is to help our investors have a good understanding. Sometimes they get you know, a little confused with all the new, new technologies being thrown out there and kind of to know what's reliable, what's what's real, and not a scam. Could you help fill in some of those blanks? Like why patch of land? I know I've seen you around at conferences for years, um, certainly been booth partners, and not necessarily with you, but with people from the company. And yeah. uh, I, I just would love to share all about patch of land. Yeah, great, glad to be with you and tell everybody a little bit about uh, what we do and what we're all about. Uh, the company is relatively new. It's, uh, we were founded in the 2013, um, just uh, a few months after a piece of legislation was signed into law by, by then President Barack Obama, something, a piece of legislation known as the Jobs Act. Um, and what the Jobs Act allowed companies like us to do, we were actually one of the very first companies to bring crowdfunding to real estate. So we were uh, the, the original goal which is still very much uh, part of our DNA and what we uh, are aspiring to do is allow capital to flow more freely to real estate investors to help finance their fix and fix flip products. What differentiates us today and, and back then from a lot of the hard money lenders and, and um, basically non-traditional lending sources is that we created a real estate marketplace where we were able to take the loans we make and make them available to accredited investors. So ordinary Americans, granted an accredited investor tends to be a little wealthier than, the, than an ordinary American. It takes $200,000 worth of income, reportable W-2 income for two years, uh, and or a uh, million dollars worth of net worth, excluding your primary residence to be, but that's what our government considers an accredited investor. And so our investment side of our business, the loans that we make, that we make available to investors to purchase and recapitalize us as a lender, um, those are available for anybody that meets the conditions to be accredited to invest in. And by on the investing in these uh, types of loans, you can make up to 12% interest in as little as 12 months. So pretty good liquidity, pretty, pretty healthy yields. Uh, I will say that as time has gone on, this is, you know, now in the last couple of years, uh, borrowers in our space have seen rate compression. So we're typically making loans in the eight to 10% range. So our investors are typically seeing things in the seven to 9%. We keep, keep anywhere from a half a point to a full point in the management fee. Um, but still anywhere between nine, seven and 9% in, in 12 months return on your money with a, with an asset backed by a, a first lien on real estate is a pretty good investment and it's turned out really well for a lot of our investors. So we'll yeah. talk a little bit about that, but, but first and foremost, primarily what we do is we make finance, we, we lend money to, to developers and entrepreneurs that are, you, need to use financing or want to use financing for their fix and flip projects. You know what, absolutely. And I think one of the, two, two of the real big issues that I hear are the second one, you're so, or I'm sorry, the first one you mentioned, is you are so attractive that people wanting to invest their money, that's kind of the talk I always hear is how much you get back. But then at the conferences, I'm working with the guys that and ladies that are looking to actually get those loans. So absolutely. And I think that if we focus in a little bit and drill down on them, tell me a, a little bit about maybe their process. Like what do they go through? What do they most, I'll say, enjoy that makes your uh, process so appealing to them when they need that loan? Yeah, absolutely. Well, probably one of the most um, 
important benefits. There's, there's two primary benefits, but one of the most important is speed to funding. We fund with our own money. We're not a correspondent lender. We're, we're not a front end trying to resell that loan when we make it. We fund everything with our money. We have our own underwriting team. We have our own loan origination team. We make all our own decisions. So we will get your application in hand. We can do that with as little as an hour. We can give you a quote while you're on the phone. There's not a lot of screwing around to try to figure out whether we can do your loan or, or not, if we tell you we can do it. So that's the second part. The first part is speed. The second part is is reliability. If we tell you we can do the loan, it's uh, as long as the information you provide with, to us over the course of getting you through underwriting squares up with what you told us on the application, we will absolutely fund the loan and we'll fund the loan at the, at the rate we tell you. Um, the the Another benefit, if a lot of your listeners or people watching this might be thinking, you know, there might be used to paying 12 or 13 percent with three or four points. Uh, if anybody's paying that today, they're not looking hard enough. You should definitely pick up the phone and call us 888-959-1465. Sit right there at the top of the screen. But yeah, there is no reason. Uh, there's so much good money out there, uh, even for a first time borrower um, to pay those really, really uh, onerous rates uh, and high origination points is, is I, I think, really a thing of the past. I think maybe as the market changes and things might shift in the future again, it, it, it might be harder to get money once again. It typically goes in cycles, as many of the folks watching this probably know. Uh, but we're, our rates are typically in the 8 to 10% and 2 to 3 points is uh, where we're lending money. We're lending everything from uh, around $100,000 up to 3 or $4 million. Wow. That's and, yeah, and no, I'm sorry. And then on a leverage component, we can lend up to 85% um, uh, loan to value, and we're also typically lending 100% of the construction budget. Wow, that's that's really incredible, and that's kind of again some of the feedback that I, I kind of pre knew is, is that the dependability, the reliability that you were talking about. That they said that like you know I get the quote, it's solid money. I was so how tell me about like I'll call it kind of the technology piece that. Yep. make this all so smooth you know because of course that's why you're here the tech expert like well, yep. what makes this process uh no friction right <laughs> yep right well and and you know these the, as everybody that's done one of these loans knows that it, it's not uh it's not a super um easy process or some, do, some documentation involved i mean obviously any lender is trying to make sure that they're making that they're making a good credit decision in assessing risk uh, you see on the screen in front of you a big giant orange button that says borrow. That's typically the beginning of the experience, although we are happy to work with our clients any way that they want. If they'd rather do everything over the phone, we're happy to do it over the phone. If you want to do it online, we're happy to do it online. They're clicking the borrower button takes you to a series of forms where you start to give us some information about the property that you either have under contract or you're trying to get under contract and you want to make sure that you can be qualified to get the money and that you sometimes uh, it's helpful to have a pre-approval letter to show the seller, um, but you can do all that online. You just simply put, hit the borrow button, give us some information about yourself. Can, you can give us as much or as little information online as you want. Obviously, we need enough information to call you back. So if all you want to do is give us your email and phone number, we'll call you within a few minutes, probably typically, uh, get the rest of the information over the phone. And in some cases, uh, some cases, borrowers don't really have all the details of the project. They're just trying to make sure that their personal situation and what they think they're looking to do is something that we can fund. And we're happy to give them that information right over the phone in the very first phone call. And then kind of back on the back end, what most people don't see is we're using the technology we don't, we, we, we have the benefit of not having offices all over the country. We don't have to have field offices. We don't have uh, people spread all, all over the country. We're able to centralize our operations right here in Los Angeles. We're up in Sherman Oaks. Um, we have about 20 loan officers on staff, although some of, several of them are remote, so not everybody is, is in, uh, in Los Angeles. But the, um, the process of talking to somebody over the phone and getting the loan, the loan documents provided, our loan operations center is here, uh, and so we were very consolidated in terms of how how we underwrite. We use a lot of, in addition to the website technology, where we are able to attract audience, an audience of borrowers from literally all over the country. 
There are only six states that we're not currently lending in, so we're in 44 states around the country. So obviously there's some cost efficiencies that we gain by running an operation and running a website that can touch a whole lot of people that um, local lenders that are doing business in their local market don't have that same kind of opportunity. Um, and so that gives us one thing and also, of course, pulling in information from a lot of different data sources. There's a lot of data aggregators. So you can give us an address and we already know a lot of information about that property um, that you don't necessarily have to provide. We'll of course validate that all the information we've got is correct. Um, and once we get all that, we understand your personal situation. We are not, we do have a FICO minimum of 600, but typically that's a, a fairly low standard. We're mostly, looking at the value of the asset that we're underwriting for the loan. And um, that's, uh, I, I think that's kind of a, a high level summary. Oh, um, no, that's the, great. Go ahead. Sorry. The, one, what I, the, the other interesting thing from a technology standpoint, I know that you know a lot of your viewers are probably really a little, a little bit on the geeky side of technology. They're really interested in what you're doing because they, you're showing, constantly showing interesting technology solutions. But if, you, if you're interested in investing, uh, you you, uh, you can click on the invest button, and that's a really super uh, interesting project. So if you can, it takes you in. Yeah, if you want to do this, we can kind of we can do a little tour if you want. Yeah. Although you're probably not logged in. So you, on the investing side, and we won't spend a ton of time on it. But uh, did you click on that button? I wasn't sure if you, you wanted me to, but I can click. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Let's we'll, we'll see where that takes. I was us. I was a little um, slow, and it's a little bit slower because the Zoom's running. But we should get in there. Yeah. yeah, sure. So you went right to where you wanted to be. So these are three investments that we currently have on the site. Um, as a potential investor, you can you can select either the short term or mid term tab, but just stay on the all investment tab for now. And you, then by short term, we're talking about twelve month, typically twelve month interest uh, term loans. Um, and we, you know, most of our borrowers are doing this in about eight months, sometimes six months, and not all of these loans go to full maturity. And if you just scroll up a little bit, you see like this Babylon purchase and rehab, this is a single block. So this is what went out for like the first construction. So this was an $186,000 loan. We're paying a 9% interest to our investors. It shows that the loan was made at a 70% ARV or after repair value. Uh, and it'll be a 12 month loan. There's 65,000. You see it's 34% funded today. This probably just went up. I think it did just go up on the platform this morning. Um, so we've already funded 65,000 of the 186,000 that is available in that investment. Normally this, if you look back tomorrow, this will probably be gone. Normally these investments stay up on the site from uh, anywhere from a day or two. The average time is about four days. Sometimes they're gone in a matter of minutes, sometimes hours, but uh, almost always we sell out uh, the investment opportunities in about four days. So, and you see another one, you can see the other two are nearly gone, 98% funded, 94% funded. Um, and there's another one, you know, there's, and you can just kind of scroll down. I think there's three more available, three more that are live on the platform. There's one there at Corona Road over there that has a nice pretty picture of Kroger, is a, a large commercial project in Flint, Michigan that's, uh, just getting started at 21% funded, but that's a 1.6 million paying nine and a half percent interest. Wow, I mean, those are incredible. And like you said, really enticing. Uh, and I, I like that with the interface that you have there, it's so smooth and easy to go. Let me go to the next one, the next one. I like the durometer. I think that's all great, you know, showing the graph on the bottom. That's great. Yep. Yeah, and we, um, What's interesting about our platform and the way we choose to operate under SEC regulations, we're a 506C. Um, and so what that allows us to do is allow for broad solicitations. So you don't have to provide us any special information about yourself, your social security number. You can get anybody just as you did can go right to this site and start looking at these investments and you can see exactly how much is available, what rate we're paying, what the term is and what either the loan to value ratio or the uh, after repair value ratio, uh, depending on which one's more relevant to the specific deal. We'll also give you a lot of information as you start to see the, the little brief description. And on any of these deals, you can drill in and find out more information. Uh, if you do, like if you were to click on it and try to get more information on any deal, we do ask you to sign up with an email address so that we can kind of get you on our email list and send you future deals, but there's absolutely no obligation. You don't have to have an account. You don't have to put any money in, into the game. You can shop these. And as I said, we typically 
uh, make new loans, new investment opportunities available um, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and most often on Saturdays. And so uh, it's pretty fun. So regardless of whether you're uh, interested in investing or just doing your own fix and flip pro projects, uh, we're kind of a, a home for both. Yeah, I I think it's just such a nice solution. And, you know, I, I guess I'll ask the question, like, how do they think of it? You know, I know I get obviously your background and it was with loans, but like what, how do they conceptualize, yeah. conceptualize bringing both together on the same? Yeah, side? really, really, really interesting story. And that's, a, again, it explains why why we were one of the first into the market back in 2013. Uh, our co-founders, two brothers, were living in Chicago, Illinois. Um, one of them was very involved in uh, lobbying for the jobs uh, before, before the idea of this company ever came about. So 2011-12, he was involved in lobbying uh, our, Congress, our, our senators in Congress for uh, passage of the Jobs Act. And um, he himself was interested in buying a property um, in a fairly in a fairly poor neighborhood that needed development regentrification in I think it was the south side of Chicago, and he was having a really difficult time finding anybody who would give him money. And um, this was again kind of on the tails of the housing crisis, so credit wasn't widely available like it is today. So and he was just frustrated by the fact that you know there was just a few people who really controlled the private money market that he was aware of at the time. And by doing the work he had done on the Jobs Act, he realized that this is a perfect opportunity to let ordinary Americans who want to have access to real estate and the, and the single family residential asset class, which largely had been the domain, domain of millionaires, people with, that were running hedge funds, had a lot of money, were backing the hard money lenders in various markets. And, and he just saw a great opportunity to disrupt how that business went and give the opportunity to make this type of investment um, and also help their local communities. There were a lot of, he, he just wanted to help develop a property in a, in a, a dilapidated property in a crummy neighborhood. He wanted to, he saw an opportunity and he was surprised how hard it was for somebody who wanted to make an improvement and help grow that community uh, and also maybe try to in, in, increase his own personal wealth. He was just frustrated by that. So there, therefore, um, that build, that kind of, you see that, the two little lines under our patch of land logo, building wealth, growing communities. And that was really what, that was the spirit of what founded the company. And that's really what we operate uh, against today as well. Yeah. And, and you know, that's really, I, I like the thought of the fact that, you know, when they tell you to find a model and, and duplicate a model, when you think about it, like you said, who better the, to duplicate than the people that understand the value of real estate and understand how it can really help your family and you bringing it down, if you will, so that it could help any family, let's say, not just the super wealthy, you know, and yeah. uh, uh, that's just remarkable and su such a service, if you will. And, and there are so many people, you know, I work with uh, very active investors, uh, but there's so many people that don't want to be active. So what's so cool is you're helping the active investor get money quick, because especially in today's economic climate, if they don't move quick, they're, they're going to lose that house, right? Uh, I mean, that's always been Absolutely. Uh, post-recession, that's been true, period. But the stock is so low now, so they really feel it. Like they've got to have these ducks lined up and they have to have resources such as yours to be able to close quickly or get the pre-approval. And then to have the other end of it covered as well as, okay, I, I'm done. I'd like to just play around, dabble in real estate still, but I'm out of it. This is the perfect, you know, you're feeding both uh, monsters, right? Yeah. And, and actually, Linda, what I, you know, I've been surprised. Um, this has been kind of a learning experience. I joined the company in mid-2016, so I had not previously been involved in any kind of crowdfunding venture. And so the whole crowdfunding piece of it to me has been a, a phenomenal, great learning exp experience and, uh, you know, just super exciting. I think it's a really interesting and I think it's really the future of a lot of, uh, a lot of funding. It's, you know, essentially... Um, we're doing to the financial markets what Uber and Lyft did to the to the transit to taxi business. Um, you know, the, there's so much less friction going to your peers to get funding and and people who want to provide funding and understand real estate deals. So one of the things I've been interested in to learn is that a lot of people who know real estate and do fix and flip projects and have been on the sidelines maybe 
because inventory is tight or prices feel really high or they're constantly getting bid out by um, what sometimes people call amateur investors or the HGTV type uh, of uh, investor, somebody who's watched a lot of maybe too much uh, fix this flip kind of yeah. thing and they, they're coming in and paying too much for the properties. And so if you're a sophisticated investor or developer or flipper, and you know what's going on, and you're not limited to the projects that you can get a hold of. If you come onto this site, you're probably much better equipped than a lot than the average investor to look at the mechanics and look at the do, do your own due diligence on these deals and make a decision about I really like this and make a nine and a half percent on this deal seems like a really good you know. And I, I think the borrower's got great experience. He's done a lot of successful projects. I like this project in Georgia, or I like this project in Chicago, or New York, or Brooklyn. Where you know, just because you happen to live in Chicago, Illinois, or Dallas, Texas, or Los Angeles, doesn't mean that's the only place you can invest. Right. Absolutely. I, and like you said, it almost feeds that craving. So okay, I, I'm not finding my own right now, but this is so interesting. I gotta, you know, I know how people, let's say, at one time with the stocks, and you know, they were so heavily involved. This is so cool that they can kind of get that same momentum going, read the details, see the investor. I love that. I mean, I just love that. And I love that it's all consolidated in a simple, easy to use technology. You know, I go to a lot of conferences and a lot of local meetings. And, and you know, what's the biggest thing? They're trying to work the room. Those two people are both in the room. And it's just, you know, a happenstance if they get to talk to each other or not. And you're saying, hey, come to one site and you're going to find both are out there. And do you have any, I didn't even ask this or think, I guess probably maybe not, but do you have any kind of, um, I don't know, kind of chat communication between the lenders or not really? I'm sorry, between the, uh, you know, either one. Like, are you talking about where the, the, the potential like, investors can talk to the, yeah, the like person doing the project? Or, or not even yeah. the person doing the project, like what if you and I are both on there and we both, uh, or do I just bring yeah. my friend on and go, hey, take a look at this, you know, Kroger, uh, you know, what, what about this? Yeah, thing? yeah, that, you know, that's an interesting uh, thought. I don't, you know, we, we haven't really uh, thought much about facilitating our own forum because there's so many real estate communities yeah. on there. So you can go to bigger pockets and you can go to just, you know, just any number of the uh, the forums and type in bigger pocket or patch of land and you'll see people talking about uh, both investments that are going well and sometimes some investments that didn't go so well. Um, of course, it's, you know, like any investment, it's important to diversify. Um, we have returned every bit of principal on every deal. Um, sometimes deals stop paying interest because as most of your audience probably knows, borrowers from time to time get into trouble and they stop making payments, which means, you know, this, so let me explain a little bit about how, how people get paid on this investment. Okay. So like, like, like a bank or any, anybody else that does a loan, the borrowers are paying interest. Our, our deals are all interest only deals. So, and we only do debt deals. We don't offer any equity at all. So this is your own, the only return that you're going to get is the, at most what we promise you on the, on the, on the investment opportunity. So, there's no upside if the investor has a, a really great return on the back end that goes in, that's that's all to the invest all to the developer or the flipper that did the project. The investors are just seeking just participating in debt um, but by participating in this debt, um, we have the ability to um, let people well as as the investor borrower makes his interest payment, we take that interest payment and redistribute it to all of the fractional investors in a pro rata portion. So if it's a $100,000 investment and you bought $10,000, you would get 10% of the interest payment every month as it comes in. And then as the loan matures or it's paid off, you get your 10% of the principal back upon payoff. So you continue to earn your interest on a, on a monthly basis until the loan is paid off and then you get your, your principal back. And um, we've done a really great job of managing to, to return all principal to all of our investors so far. Wow. I guess you, you guys must have quite the following at this point. You know, it's enough years where the traction is probably moving. And uh, like you said, I'm a bigger pockets member myself. It's in those kind of uh, forums that you really probably get lit up because people that have had success here, whether, like you said, I'm sure they're all understanding at some point there's exceptions, but 
for the most part, it's such a successful business model. Uh, I mean, it's not for the most part. You know what I'm trying to say that. Yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, there's yeah. so many no, there's, satisfied there's, clients, yeah. you know. And there's always an element of risk. I mean, that's why the returns, the yields on these things are, you know, eight, nine, ten percent. Right. Um, you know, you, you don't get that a whole lot of places. In fact, there's very few places. Uh, and so, and we're really, you know, again, we're really proud. We only put deals that we've originated. So we've, we've, you know, funded them with our money out front. Um, so we're really clear about what we're putting on our site. We're really confident in the loans we're making. Um, and so, and we've learned a lot certainly over the years. And um, so we've gotten better and, and um, we're, uh, we, we're doing more loans than ever. We're growing at two, 300% on our origination side. Uh, and that's been, you know, for 18, uh, maybe almost 24 months now, we've been having, you know, really, really strong growth. That, that's just great. I, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to come and talk to, uh, you know, what we refer to as Libby U, the Texford series. Like, it's just been fascinating. And I'm so glad I got to di dive deeper. Uh, again, it's just conference talk. It, it's so nice to actually get to see everything here. And so I might be back. <laughs> um, yeah, great. Looks great. This really looks great. Is there any other information we should make sure we give them? I see the phone number, like you said. I love that, too, by the way at the beginning when you said that, you know, you could put in your email here or you could call because I think that uh, while we definitely are all instant society, when it comes to this kind of thing, they, they like a sense of comfort. They like a voice on the phone, somebody that yeah. makes it feel real to them, you know? Absolutely. And, you know, we don't, nobody on our phones, we, 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 tr we do a lot of training. Uh, we have people whose family has been in the real estate business and, you know, the, so most of our loan officers really have a, a real deep understanding and certainly all of them have a very clear understanding of our underwriting guidelines, the kinds of things we can and can't do. They can offer suggestions. I like to tell borrowers all the time, if we're not willing to do the deal with you, it's maybe not a 